All right, so today is the first of the year. You know, during the first day of the year, it always just kind of sucks because everybody's feeling guilty. We ate all that turkey, all that ham. I mean, it's just like a midlife crisis, you know? I mean, there's really nothing good, healthy, or right about eating through the holidays because we basically just eat our feelings. Cause babe, I ain't having kale for Christmas. I want some tamales. Oh, which by the way, I went to Portland, Oregon to make some authentic. Mexicano tamale. Which you guys will see that into my vlog that I'll be editing for this week on my vlog at Jermaine TV. It, except it's not a recipe. I will strictly advise not to give the family recipe away. So today I decided to title this How to Get Rid of the Holiday Bloat. I mean, do I really know how to? No! But I think I know. So this is kind of my formula that I'm to going to upkeep because January 1st, I'm putting the BF on a diet. We're just going to completely detox because I'm headed to the Philippines next month. And right now we're both feeling like pot belly pig. So you know, back when I was, my brother and I were like teenagers, I remember my mom would sign up for Weight Watchers and then she'd sign me up at the YMCA, you know, take us into swimming lessons, join the gym, play basketball. You know, I've never swam in my life. I don't know how to do that front stroke, back stroke. Stroking was just not my expertise, so why? And, you know, to be truthfully and honestly, I haven't been at the gym for like a month because people are annoying there. I think the worst part about the gym is just making the effort to go there. You know, I go there, everybody's on their dumb bicycle like it's gonna do something. <laughs> holiday has been filled with injuries. I got a new knife set for Christmas and I cut myself in three different spots. I've got a blister. I have a broken pinky nail and my shellac is whack. Ugh, no wonder I've been losing hair lately. It may look like <laughs> These are the advice that I would definitely take during the month of January where um, I will be doing a lot of detoxing, a lot of cutting back. I mean, I'm not like a careless eater. I mean, I can be around certain people. It's kind of like sitting next to a skinny girl eating a big fat bacon cheeseburger, triple the cheese, and you look at her with disgust like, bitch. Talk about five tips that I thought was applicable to my life that I'd be trying to do. Number one thing, I think that it's very important to drink water. I never really like to drink water because it tastes like nothing. I personally love having water with lemon now. Lemon has a bunch of oxidants or anti. Kind of like one way to prevent, you know, from uh, binging and purging. To drink a glass of water before you eat a meal and that way you feel fuller faster. And another thing is that I know the whole juicing thing has been a craze throughout this year. And I actually found a really good recipe at Jamba Juice. Um, the flavor I got at Jamba Juice was a citrus kick, so I decided to try it. If you are a person who is lazy or especially hates exercising, exercising is just about moving your body. You know, it's, it's as simple as oh, you can even walk your cat for 15 minutes. But doing a simple physical activity is really important. You know, build a puzzle with your grandma. You know, when I was like 14, 15, 16, 17, um, I, I used to have fat metabolic fat metabolism. I used to have very fast metabolism. When you exercise, your metabolism actually goes up. Um, avoid junk food. Junk food is kind of like the crime of all evil. Going in the fridge and going in your pantry is the biggest temptation. And then, you know, you head to your closet to pick out a pair of jeans and it's just depression all over again. So one last thing that I recommend is cook from home. You know, cooking is kind of therapeutic for me. It actually gives you a healthier option to make healthy foods. I think cooking from home, like today, I'm going to make some pulled pork. <laughs> to help get rid of the holiday bloat this year. Feliz Navidad! Prospero año! Feliz Navidad! Don't rub your butt on my pillow. I will see you guys on my next video. Stay sexy, be healthy, be happy. Bye.